lust not after evil things. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 6. Now these things became our examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. In Exodus, all through the 40 years of journey through the wilderness experiences, the Israelites were taken through because of their own choosing not to trust Yahweh and their rebellion against him, even resorting to the pagan practice of idol worship. Yahweh set an unparalleled and a unique example for all generations to learn about his infinite faithfulness and as a sure promise keeping God. Therefore, believers of Christ must love Yahweh with all their heart, mind, soul and strength. And this precept was given to us by Christ as his first commandment. Now these things which is being talked about is detailed in Exodus, Numbers and Deuteronomy. And when you find the time, please read those chapters. Read, read them. Check the context of this verse. That is in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 6. As the believers in Corinth were engaged in wrestling with the result of their freedom and their inclination to indulge in idolatry fervor, Paul gives an illustrative and cautionary narration about the historical behavior of the Israelites in the wilderness regardless of their surprising and wonderful deliverance from Egypt by Yahweh. The lessons being, number one, continue to trust Yahweh regardless of circumstances because of His promises and faithfulness. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3 and Point number two, to shun all forms of idol worship as it is a powerful temptation from Satan to sin and rebel against God. And you'll find that in Ephesians chapter 6, 11. Now, idol worship doesn't really have to happen before an idol. Idol could be anything that you really love with a passion more than Yahweh and the Triune God. Anything that occupies you so completely that you disregard them. Psalm 115 and verse 8 those who make them, that is, idols, are like them. So is everyone who trusts in them. Lusting after evil is equal to desiring anything that is forbidden and that which makes one struggle with faith in the triune God or disregarding the contributions of the Triune God during the sea season of gracious prosperity. You forget God when times are good. You remember Him. We do remember Him when we are down in the dumps. There was death for a whole generation before entering the promised land that despite being led by Yahweh's promises and presence 
were initially given to murmuring and grumbling and which soon burst into open rebellion and disobedience and conflict. The churches these days need to take heed that any murmuring and grumbling within the church are immediately attended to with prayers and seeking of divine wisdom and direct intervention from above. Are we Christians in the habit of hearing the word of Yahweh on a regular and daily basis and learners of the truth and history it presents? This is best answered by the individual themselves. But the Bible states that lust, lies and deception have disastrous repercussions as mentioned in 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them to destruction, making them an example to those who afterwards would live ungodly. The warring between good and evil of the heart and mind is clearly brought out in Romans chapter 7 and verses 14 to 22. This is going to be a long one. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For what I am doing, I do not understand. For what I will to do, that I I do not practice, but what I hate, that I do. If, then, I do what I will not to do, I agree with the law that it is good. But now, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh nothing good dwells for to will is present with me but how to perform what is good I do not find for the good that I will to do I do not do but the evil I will not to do that I practice now if I do what I will not to do, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. I find in a law that evil is present with me. The one who wills to do good, for I delight in the law of God according to the inward man. That's quite a complicated conflict and I'm very sure that many times there have been times where you do, we do what we not supposed to do and then we do what we are to do and that makes all the difference and we find that it's good to be led by God. Christians are not immune to temptation and to sin. The word of Yahweh urges us to learn from the terrible but deliberate mistakes the Israelites made. And so Christians must totally rely on Yahweh's grace and avoid the evil snares that laid out by the enemy in our desires and so live as Yahweh wills. Amen. 
Shalom, my dear friends. God commands, lust not unto evil things, and that is in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 6. Now these things became our examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. New vlog every Monday. Do subscribe to this vlog if you have not already done so. Thank you.